So there's a little show out there called Peppa Pig. What music are you into? I like this. It's very grown up. <laughs> Peppa Pig is a children's cartoon that was released in the United Kingdom. Good old Britain, isn't it? On May 31st. 2004. Wait, really? 2004? I was like 10 years old when this came out. I didn't even know of its existence until 2015. I guess I was too busy watching Max and Ruby and Oswald. Anyway, the show revolves around our main character, Peppa Pig, and her family, friends, and other miscellaneous British animals. It's your typical children's cartoon where Peppa gets herself into all kinds of scenarios and situations where a character needs to learn some kind of moral, like sharing, being kind, respecting privacy, all that jazz. Despite me never hearing much of the show until later in my life, Peppa Pig is kind of a big deal. Clips of the show on YouTube average in the millions and sometimes pushing the 100 million view count. It's won so many awards, including Best Preschool Animation four times. Apparently, even the Peppa Pig merchandise store grossed over 200 million dollars in merchandise alone. I would get so many chicks if I wore this around. Add to cart. There's even Peppa Pig amusement parks, like multiple of them, throughout England, the Netherlands, and even China. But just like with anything popular, ripoffs and bootlegs wanting to capitalize on it are bound to follow. Which is the topic of today's video, with Wolfu Family. <laughs> Now before we dive into Wolfu Family, let's look at the level of success with bootlegs, bootleg cartoons in particular. Miracle Star may be one of the most infamous examples. A lot of people know about it, and heck, even Gumball themselves made an entire episode ripping on them. But the actual level of success they had is minimal. They had their 15 minutes of fame, a milk commercial, and whatever clout you can get from random people online who saw a review of the show. And don't even get me started on those bootleg Disney movies. If those crappy things somehow make a dollar, they're considered a success. But then, we have something like Wolfu Family, a series that has a presence on YouTube. A big one, in fact, with almost every video having a million plus views. The Wolfu Family channel has 11 million subscribers. This thing. Lucy, be careful with the animals in the desert. They can be poisonous. May just be one of the most successful and popular bootleg ripoffs to ever exist. But let's back up and get a little history lesson. Wolfu Family is a Vietnamese cartoon made specifically for YouTube, making their debut onto the platform on October 20th, 2019, which makes this meteoric rise in only three years all the more terrifying. The cartoon is literally a ripoff of Peppa Pig. Our main character, Wolfu, gets himself, family, and friends into all kinds of situations that will end up requiring a moral lesson by the end of it. But it somehow does it worse? Now, it doesn't take a genius to write a preschool show, but it does take some level of charm to make something decent. For example, since the show's production is in Vietnam, it means all of the talent are probably underpaid Vietnamese actors and actresses, who don't exactly speak the best English. Remember, plastic and electric waste are very toxic. Don't throw them into the water. Do not run, kids. You might bump into other people. Yes! Like, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but it's clear that Wolfu family wants to appeal to the English-speaking world, while their talent kinda struggles to do so convincingly. But that's honestly just a little nitpick. There are so many other valid reasons as to why this show sucks. Such as them using other copyrighted characters in their thumbnails and videos. Spider-Man Wolfu saves Spider-Man, dad in the game. What game? Batman comes to rescue. Wolfu and his friends play Sonic game. Wolfu dress up Sonic the Hedgehog. Wolfu adventure in Super Mario Game World slash the Angry Bird costume for kids. What the hell does Angry Birds even have to do with this? It's literally like a game. Type in Wolfu in the YouTube search bar and add any franchise after it. And there's a good chance Wolfu family already made 20 episodes on it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ugh, you know, I'm getting real hard flashbacks to those cringy Baby Sonic videos. Cheap animation, god-awful sound effects that just get thrown in all over the video, just to keep the child entertained. That's Wolfu Family's biggest advantage over Peppa Pig. If your three-year-old is looking for Peppa Pig videos and they come across a show that looks exactly like it, however, this cartoon has Sonic and Knuckles on it, yeah, they're gonna be even more attracted to it. <laughs> I even went to the Wolfu Family website, yeah they have that, and even they have two pig characters, Piggy and Mrs. Pig. What the hell is that? While we're on the website though, we can check out their merch. Oh my god, please don't make eye contact. So, okay, you can buy a Wolfu and Friends plushie for, oh, uh, let's just say $36. Or, you could buy the actual official Peppa Pig stuffed animal toy that will also sing to you for $13. It's just so scummy. It has no reason to exist. It's also seemingly random on what kind of episode you're going to get. Sometimes, and I do mean very rarely, there is an episode that works as your everyday generic Peppa Pig episode, with no cringy sound effects or Disney characters thrown in for no reason. But other times, yeah, it's total trash that fits in with those Amy Rose dying videos. There's a goddamn video called Which Baby Will Wolfu Choose in the Vending Machine? Like what? And yet yeah, they actually get a fucking baby from a vending machine and take it home. The entire episode literally has a baby crying, taking a crap, and playing with Elsa. <laughs> It just sucks, because the show looks so identical to Peppa Pig. You could tell an adult that, hey, this is a sequel to the cartoon Peppa Pig, and they'd probably believe you. Speaking of which, believe it or not, Wolfu Family actually has a spin-off series of its own. Wolfu Adventurer. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. The spin-off is... better? I guess in the same way that it's better to be punched in the arm than in the face. It still sucks, but I guess I'll take the less painful option. The miniseries has Wolfu and friends going on adventures. It still has a lot of the same annoying problems as the original, but at least they're not trying to teach a shallow moral lesson that's tackily thrown in on the end. It's a simple action show. <laughs> wow, so cute! Why is this allowed to happen? Will somebody, anybody, just sue this company and make them stop? <clears throat> oh, cool. Yeah, when you're a blatant copycat, or a copy wolf in this case, that apparently amasses billions of views every month, somebody important is going to notice. And on January 2022, E1, the company that owns Peppa Pig, is actually suing S-Connect, the company behind Wolfu Family. Which, Jesus, I just noticed. Even the company bootlegged their name. E1 S-Connect. Bro, you are so guilty. This isn't even the first time E1 has sued the Wolfu Family people. In 2019, they apparently sued some individuals who were selling bootlegged Peppa Pig merch. I don't know if they're related, but it would be a whole lot funnier if they were. As of recording this video, there hasn't been an update on the lawsuit, which, if you think about it, is kinda scary. Like seriously, if let's just say Nintendo wanted to sue me for playing bootleg games, that would be the end! I wouldn't go to court or try to fight it, it would be done and done the same day I received the letter. But Wolfu Family isn't going down without a fight apparently, because to this day, they are still uploading videos, sometimes multiple times a day. What this means is that either E1 has dropped their lawsuit, which I don't see happening, or Wolfu Family, with their multiple channels, millions of subscribers, and billions of views, have acquired just as much money as Peppa Pig and can fight this obvious open and shut case against them. Either way, I'm too scared to know the answer. Wolfu Family was kind of an interesting topic for me. For someone who's into bootlegs, it was crazy seeing one amass such a strong following and actually grow into an apparently successful business. But that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching, 
And if you were to create a bootleg cartoon, what would it be? Me personally, I've got some ideas for a show called Sponge Chris Triangle Shirt. That's gotta be a hit.